on if you see a red live box at the top left corner of your screen that means we are live otherwise you're catching the replay thanks for stopping by hello mom all right time for another project this time we are going to use our spring botanicals this is this transfer we have wood cutouts that match so if you would like these wood cutouts go ahead and comment botanicals um, they're not yet listed in um, decor cutouts Etsy shop yet. So we're in the process of doing that. We're also going to use a couple different patterns. This is from our bold patterns transfer. And then um, there are transfers in the specials category that may say, like if you search mother or mom, <clears throat> you'll see some transfers pop up with mom or mother or if it's they feel like it's related to that it'll pop up but we're going to use this one's called make room to bloom remember this this came out back in february i think we're going to kind of use the o and the m and we're going to put mom on our wood cutouts here that way okay so all these transfers um, the tools, everything's listed in our project cart link. It's called Water Can Mom. If you go into the description of the video, you'll find that there. There's also links to our paste, our services, our tools, and anything else you might need for your chalky experience. But for the watering can cutouts, and I'm really happy about these. I'm excited to play with these. Go ahead and comment 
cans and um, we'll get that all set for you that way, okay? So here's what it is. Based on how I feel I'm going to use my flower cutouts, <clears throat> I cut out a back piece, I cut out a front piece, and then I cut out two inside pieces with just a notch missing because we're not going to shove the flowers. They don't have too big of a stem, so we're not going to throw them in too deep. Um, but I did cut out a space for it so that when everything is sandwiched together, it'll make um, a cute little watering can that actually, once it's all glued together, will be able to support itself and um, stand up by its own, okay? Or you can lean it if you uh, have like a little tiered tray. If you want to put it on there, you can do that, okay? Let's get started. First thing we need to do is paint our wood cutouts. So let's put this out of the way. And what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to use grayish. Um, grayish is back in our lineup, guys. And then I'm going to use um, Disco. That was a couple months ago, I think, our color of the month. We're going to highlight with Disco. I kind of wanted to do it the other way, but painting with our shimmers and our metallics, they don't always work. We can try. We can try. We'll try one each way. How's that sound? Okay. Let's get some brushes. Is that one? I think I have a couple up here. I'll use those. And then we'll use maybe this one. We don't need that big guy. We don't need that big guy. Okay. All right. So first things let's do, and all we have to do really is the front and the back. We don't have to do the inside pieces, so I'm gonna put those aside. Same thing with this one. This one's a little bit taller. This is a little bit shorter. Okay. So for this one, let's try the Disco. All right, we're just gonna dip our foam brush right in and we're just going to try this. So far so good. Like I said, sometimes the shimmers or the metallics don't really do the greatest job in covering. And you can see there's some variation there, which honestly is fine because it's a cool watering can. So the metal has, it'll make it look like metal. Um, which is not perfectly painted anyways. Come over here to the handles. And finish it up that way. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So then this one we want to flip over. Now this is, um, I ran out of wood and I had some draft board that I cut this out of, um, you will get <clears throat> bass plywood, which I really like. But this is draft board. And it comes with this protective sheet. So I'm gonna peel this off. All right, we'll see how this paints. So you wanna paint it on the opposite side. Guess you don't have to, but just in case someone sees the back side, it'll at least be painted the same color. You don't necessarily have to chalk the pattern on this side if you don't want. Okay. 
dries super quick. Forgot to put comments on, so say hello. Let me know you're here. Okay. And I forgot to bring my, I need to find my wood glue. I don't know where I stuck it. Okay, so that's that one. Put those aside. Then we're gonna do this one. with our grayish. So they got rid of grayish a while ago and then brought it back. So I'm just gonna, with the paint or with the paste, I'm going to <clears throat> wet the wood a little bit. That'll help spread that paste a little easier. Sometimes when you're putting on a thick uh, paste on wood. It doesn't really flow very nicely. Of course you can use if you have your favorite types of acrylic paint. Um, by all means use that. Use what you like to color with. some more here. I'm going to add a little more water, get some more paste on my brush. Brush it up. Trying to get a nice consistent color here. This grayish is a very, very light gray. Okay, there's that side. Let's get this. Now, because I'm squirting it, it will take a little bit longer to dry. So just keep that in mind too. Oof. This one's really wet now. Let's get the handle and I should be done with this guy. Make sure they're nice and dry. Okay, there's that one. I gotta say, I like the disco better. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do grayish on those guys and then we'll do the disco on those, that water and can. So, so they will look like they belong together. All right, let's get these dry. Like I said, no need to do the inside pieces. You're not going to see them. Heavy duty dryer here. 
speed up the drying a little bit. Talking sister, how are ya? Thanks for hopping on. Let me look at the grayish. I guess that's okay. It's really light. It is a light, light gray. So I think that'll be fine. I just didn't want to see too much like this color coming through, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Well, hello, Miss Susan Tapley. All right, all right. Okay, so that's the back side. This is the top to that one. And I wanna say that's the top to that one. Okay, next step, we are going to wax. I'm gonna take my little handy dandy dauber thingy and just apply it. And I'm only doing the top piece. We do not need to do the back piece, unless you're gonna chalk on it. I think I'm gonna just leave mine plain though. And I'm just applying it. I didn't rub it in just yet. Okay, we're gonna grab a little piece of paper towel. And then we're just gonna fluff that in. And I think this was wet, so some of that came off. We're going to fix this. Oh, let's see. Dare I do this? Well, I just waxed it, so you know what? It's not going to work. All right, so we're just going to kind of wipe that up a little bit. Let me try to dab some of this on it. Aren't they adorable? They're perfect for our botanical flowers. Okay. Perfect. So let's get these decorated up. I have a couple patterns. I was going to do this on the smaller one and we're going to do this on this one. This is the bold patterns. And again, I'm only going to do the front. I'm only going to do the front. So let's bring this over here. Okay. And uh, so you could see probably that there's, um, they have like little dashes and little dots just to kind of make an interesting pattern here. And I'm only going to do the solid, like, I don't know what you would call it. I'm only gonna do like this part of the watering can. We're gonna leave the spout and the handle alone. So luckily my transfer is see-through. So I can put it where I need it. There we go. All right, we're gonna rub that down. Let's get a scoop. 
squeegee, and then we're gonna do our disco on this one. You don't recognize this transfer. All right, we're gonna draw like an imaginary line. The patterns, Susan. You could also use some tape, transfer tape, um, if it will help you draw that line. Mask it with tape, yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna come in here with my squeegee here. And mask it off myself. All right, make sure you're hitting those edges. Get off that excess. Perfect. And then of course, excess always in the jar. And then we're going to take it off. Oh, so cute. <laughs> There's my little watering can. So cute, so cute. We can always too go around the edges to give it more definition. Maybe we'll do that with uh, at the end there. All right, so there's that guy. Let's bring this guy over. So now we're gonna do the grayish on top of this guy. Voila. The peel to reveal. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get this guy straight so that I can make this straight. Okay. If I were to use my transfer tape, this is how I would do it. So you wanna take a little section and then we would mask it off this way. Um, it's called Bold Patterns. Bold Patterns. It has all kinds of different, it has like the little lumps in it. I don't, I'm sure you've seen it. But it's a nice transfer to To get when you're trying to fill in you know areas if you want just some texture okay press that down there and I need another roll okay and then we're covering up this there we go. All right. So now we're going to do the grayish here. Get another transfer, another squeegee. Dip it in. So this I'm excited to see. So whenever I do use transfer tape, I start on the tape and go into my project. You don't want to go um, into it, like facing it, because you can run the risk, <clears throat> excuse me, of it going under the tape. Okay. So you kind of want to start on the tape. Make sure you're getting those edges. Okay. 
and then get that excess off and make sure your entire transfer design area is covered. You don't want to miss a spot and then pull it up and go, man, I missed a spot. Okay. And then you'll peel that off. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So pretty. It does. All right, let's get that dry. Again, you don't need to do the backside unless you want to. I at least painted it, so I'm good with that. Unless you're putting it like on a tear tray, then maybe you want to decorate both sides. Although the back of your flowers won't be done unless you paint them a solid color. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now we have to paint our base of our flowers. So once this is done, right, this will be, I don't, my wood glue is upstairs, so I gotta go get that. Um, but that'll be all pushed together. There's four pieces. They're all an eighth of an inch thick, which gives it four eighths of an inch or a half inch. And that will allow it to stand up on its own when it's all said and done. You could paint along the edges too if you want to fill that in. Okay, so we can put those aside. All right, now I'm thinking we're just going to go ahead and paint the flowers. Also, make sure they're going the correct way that they correspond to their um, to their pattern, which they do. And I am going to. Probably same thing. So the two flowers that I'm going to go with in here are going to be that one and this one, I think. So you're going to have two flowers in there. So we'll probably do, we'll do these in the disco. Okay, we're kind of doing opposite here. That's going to be done in the disco. These will be painted. I wanted to do for these. I'm trying to think what flowers I said I wanted to do. Those. Or did I have these opposite? Let me think about this. I think I have these opposite. That was going to be with that one. These were going to be with this one. I think that's how I had it. Okay, so then these will be done in the grayish, and then we'll chalk on them. Okay, so disco. Let's paint these guys disco. <laughs> why now? Why do you like it? Tell me why. All right, so we're cutting or painting the whole cut out here. I know, right? So darn cute. Yeah, maybe like for Memorial Day and 4th of July, we could do like sparklers or something.
interchangeable, right? Things that are interchangeable. Okay, so those are those two. Let's paint these guys. This is the grayish, like I said, grayish has come back. Get it while it's hot. I like it because it's a nice, light, neutral color. It's not as dark as Storm. And it's not white, it's lighter. Or it's grayer than white. Almost done. Then we're going to give them a little wax. You know me, I like to wax my wood. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. All right, let's get these dry. And then the colors that we're going to use, that will give the project its pop. You know what? I'm going to use my heavy duty guy. Get these dry quick. A quick dry does dry quickly, but usually it's like on a chalkboard. <laughs> Let's give these guys a quick wax. Not sure what that is. All right, I just kind of spin it around in there a little bit. Gently rubbing that on. just find that my transfers work a whole lot easier when I wax my wood. Okay. Put that aside. Close it up. Find a clean spot here and just gonna lightly buff it. Just be careful when you're handling the wood cutouts. You don't want them, it's a pretty sturdy wood. Um, just don't wanna crack it. Sometimes there's some compromised areas on a wood cutout. If you 
feel better just holding it down and rubbing it. You could do that. When uh, I first used, was starting to use wood cutouts, the wood I was getting was not very good wood. But now I found a, a really nice wood that I love playing with. So, okay. So there's that. Let's get our transfer out. <clears throat> this is the Spring Botanicals. Again, everything is um, in links in the description of the video. If you're having issues trying to find something, let me know. Okay, let's get this cut. Also, before I finish that, one, two, three, and four. Well, hello there, Miss Mary. How are you? One, two. We're making some watering cans for mom today. And four. Okay. Now, I am not a flower expert whatsoever. <clears throat> so if I'm not using the correct color that that flower may be, it's okay. It's all good. All right. So this one, um, because we've waxed and we've buffed, we can go ahead and just apply it to our cutout. And because our transfers are translucent, we can get that lined up. All right, colors I'm using. Let's get this. You know, I try to look them up, but I don't know the names of the flowers, so it's okay. I do not claim to be a florist. All right, let's get these covered and out of the way. Okay. All kinds of transfers or squeegees we'll need. Okay, we got some squeegees here. So the colors I chose are um, pesto for anything that should be green. And then we have, we're doing shimmers. Shimmer Flamingo. Fresh, this is one of our new releases. As is Squeeze, but that's not a shimmer. Uh, shimmer Orchid and Pucker. So these are our color choices today. So I thought I would do this guy blue. Um, and then let's open our pesto. Let's do the top first, okay? So then we're just gonna paint these guys, or paste these guys with, oh, isn't that pretty? Such a pretty color. Now, Mary, I have a feeling that you know what all of these flowers are. Mary is my, what shall I call it? She's my Britannica. She knows everything. I love it. If I'm stuck on a word, I ask Mary. All right. So 
So there's that. We got that applied. We've got our excess off. Let's grab some pesto here. Do all the greenery. Britannica. Does everybody remember the Britannicas? Encyclopedias. All right, apply, get that excess off. Okay. Awesome. Are you ready? Are you ready? OMG, how pretty. There's one little spot I want to fix. One little spot. Okay. Let's see. No, oh, that didn't work. That's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that pretty flower. You're not a flower person? Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that is. one flower or no this one's gonna go over here here let's get this guy this is number four I have chrysanthemums maybe I don't know I think I was gonna do let's see so I know I'm gonna do those like, daffodillies thingies yellow do I want to do that and that I think I was gonna do this in yeah, the shimmer, um, shimmer orchid. All right, push that down. Okay, Let's do our pesto. So anywhere I think it should be green. All the leaves, the stems. <clears throat> I, bluebells, yes. I would, that's why I called them, or I put, did them in blue. <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping. This is a zinnia, you think? What'd you say, zinnia? Well, our zinnias are going to be an orchid color. I don't know. I wish they would tell us. They use a lot of botanicals in their designs. And I wish they would say what they are for people like me. Okay. Oh, I know I have one of these open somewhere. Let's see. That's not it. That's not it. Mm. Nope. Okay, we're just gonna open this bad boy. Orange, red, yellow. Well, This is a rare breed of zinnia. That is the color of orchid. All right, it's going to be pretty no matter what. All right, get this covered. Okay, excess back in the jar, and then I'll take the excess off here. Really push that shimmer through that mesh. 
there's the lid. <laughs> they are. They only grow in my yard. <laughs> Ooh la la. Ooh, look how pretty. That's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. So those will go in that jar. Or in that watering can, I should say. And then last but not least. I know we have two more to do, guys. Two more. I'm going to save those yellow ones for last because I think those are going to be fun. All right. I guess this could be a rose. I don't know. You look, you earned a badge? I can't tell on my end. I can't tell on my phone. Probably if I look on the computer, I'll be able to see. What did it say? Top fan. Okay. Let's get our green. Peony? Oh, I don't know. I do not know. I think that's a leaf. If not, I just covered a petal. So, so there's that. But I know this is a bud. Open up this color. <laughs> Good. This is that shimmer flamingo. This is so pretty. So pretty. So close to that green. Get the bud. Honestly, I like if I if I accidentally like mix color. Oh, jeez, oh, did you see that? Oh, my goodness. If I accidentally hit like that green, it's almost like the green is coming into the leaf or into the blossom, which I think actually occurs naturally. But I have to wipe this off now because I got green on it. I think we have that done anyway. Yes, this is for your little buddy. Okay, so your my little buddy's upstairs with his daddy. There's that. Pretty. And yes, we are doing this for mom. figured it would be something cute. Of course, we have some awesome dad designs that came out in our Summer Brations release. So we'll do that. I think I'm going to make that like a week-long series for dad. I got a lot of projects planned for that. Okay. I know. Gosh. Hate when I do that. Okay. Luckily, it's on a dry piece of paste, so I think I will be at the end. I will peel that up, and we'll be all good. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yes. Definitely. He needs that. He needs all of it. 
can't tell, I think there's a little bit of green up there. Even with glasses, I'm like, what is going on? Okay, so this, of course, is going to be the more difficult one because the uh, stem goes all the way through the middle here. So we're going to do our best. all done. Try to get all that excess off. And whatever I didn't get we will do with pucker. That is this month's color of the month. Uh, when you place a Qualifying $75, whether it's Canada or US, um, then you can put up to three jars in your cart. It's a good one. This is a fun one for sure. I think I'm gonna use this. I've used it a few times already. So this is one of our, it's not a shimmer, but it's kind of like a metallic. We're kind of going, we're having some, a metallic line. Um, not in our regular lineup, but they have been giving us some metallics for our color of the month, which is pretty fun. That excess back. If I kind of go over the green with the pucker, I'm okay with that. Just want to make sure I get it all. Okay. Let's reveal. Oh, pretty. So pretty. It's light, the yellow. Shiny. You think they're shiny? They're shimmery. Shimmery, but not like our shimmers. <laughs> if that makes sense. All right. We need to get that guy cleaned up. So I'm just gonna come in here and hopefully have that not fall in my jar. Just may have to go in after it with our fingers here. There we go. All right, like it never happened. Okay, never happened. All right, let's get our glue gun going here. Okay, so what's gonna take place here? Let's get everything dry while we wait. Again, I don't have my wood glue with me. I keep saying I'm going to find that, and I forget to find it. So we'll at least get the flowers in place. Um, I'll glue them overnight, and then I'll show you.
I think I like these two best. I like them better on the, they show up better on the disco. Cause it's like a pewter silver. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. All right, so we have that little channel, right? We have four pieces thick. So I'm thinking this guy will go here. And that guy will go there. So what will end up happening, okay, is when you take your first board and turn it over, you're gonna glue your first flower down and then you'll come in and we're gonna need a little um, placer piece here, which I will have to also grab. All right, so we're gonna have, cause you're gonna have dimension. You're gonna, you're really gonna be two, okay, you're gonna be two of these thick. So that's why this works, right? So you can put these down. All right, so the first one goes on the first level. This guy will really just attach to this guy and have kind of like a support piece. And you'll come in with your back piece and you'll have this isn't that cute and we have to do the word mom on it too don't forget or I guess we don't have to do mom we could just leave it alone so that would be that one and then oh thank you and then this guy same concept. I'll put him in there. And then I think the blue, you could do the blue on top or the blue in the back. Thank you. How cute is that? And honestly, if you, um, if you even want to put all four in one of these, then you would just add as many, however many flowers, that's how many sheets of these cut out ones you would need so that you have that depth of all those layers. So if you comment botanicals, I'll get you the cutouts for the flowers. If you comment, excuse me, cans, then you can tell me if you want both cans how many layers to the cans? Yes, they will end up standing up. Once I get it all glued, um, it, it's a half inch thick, so it balances on its own. So once it would be all glued, it will balance all on its own. So cute. So cute, so let's see. Let's just see for grins and goggles. So there's three, okay? These two are on the same level. This is on a different level. So you could do three. Wouldn't be able to do four. I don't think there's any way you'll get four in there. But you could do three. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. I love it. All right, so stay tuned for pictures. I have so many pictures I have to um, upload. So just be on the ready for that. Let's put this back in here. All right, let's do this. Let's start to build this. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of hypothetically put this together. I like this right about here. So I'm just gonna kind of bring it here. 
and put a little blob of glue there. Okay, we want to make sure this is placed down as well. Just hold that down. I used to have little pieces. I would think so. Any mom would love these. Um, let's see. I might have some pieces here. I just have little spare pieces, right? So I can kind of glue that down. And then we'll go glue this guy up here and attach it to that. Let's make sure we like this. I think I like it like right there. Be a little lower. I think I like it like right there. All right, so what you'll do is we'll put this little guy, get him under here. Tack that down. And then what you'll do is you're gonna glue here and here. Here and here. So that we can put that in there. So we're gonna fill that guy up and put a little butt there. Here and here. You can move it around while it's still hot. Okay, then you put your second layer in there, then you're gonna put your backing on there. Again, if you wanna paint the back of your flowers, because if you feel like you're gonna see them, then I would just do like all green or something. I know, it's the lighting and it's, um, you know, the, the disco is our base color here, whereas this is the, um, this has the grayish with the disc on top. Yeah, that would be cute too. You'd have to protect them for sure to be in the elements. But that is that one. Like I said, I'm gonna glue this with a, with a wood glue because um, hot glue will make it not lay flat. But then once it's all together, it will stand nicely. All right, let's get this guy put together. I know, it's crazy, crazy. Let's see. So maybe we put the pink in front. These kind of like coming out some. Okay, so I think I like this one. So we don't have much of a stem, right? So we have to play with this. Okay, I think I like that one right there. All right, so again, we have to at least have this guy in there so we can. Make sure that won't interfere. So right there. Ah. All right, we're gonna 
press that down without burning ourselves. And of course, we're gonna have to have our little spacer in there for the second guy. him like sit right here. Alright, so let's get that guy down. kinds of glue strings here. Okay, press that down. And of course you want to make sure you're not getting in the way of anything there. Of course, you're going to have your last layer. So darn cute. So there's that. How adorable. I don't know. Should we do mom on top? Should we have it say mom? Should we have it cut out to say mom? Should we leave it alone? What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Should we make it say mom? What do you think? Who's barking? Who do you think's barking? That would be my little mobly bobly. He's upstairs with daddy. <laughs> Naughty boy. You can hear him. I'm literally in my basement and he's upstairs with the door shut. Bad boy. Looks great just like it is. Thanks. If you guys wanted to put mom on it, a cutout, I think a cutout would look cute too. I may just do that because that was the intention, but I think what I'll do is from this make room to bloom transfer is put the M-O-M -M together. Uh, put that together and then put it on. Put it on that way. Otherwise, we have other transfers. Um, there's the one that says, Mom, you're what holds us together. Um. There's other ones too. The mom, mama, mommy, bruh. I don't know how big that mom might be. That might that might be a little bit bigger. You kind of have to, he misses you. Yes, he does. You're going to have to come back and visit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to sit on it and think about it. I at least want to get these guys glued together and get some pictures. So um, I hope this has just given you guys all kinds of good ideas um, on something to make for mom or yourself or anybody else. I just think it's cute. It's a cute little spring uh, piece of decor that you can put on a, um, on a tiered tray. I actually think think it will match something else I plan on making so stay tuned we're going to use the flower market transfer soon so keep watching so glad to see you guys tonight I hope you have a great rest of your evening and I hope to see you guys again soon bye for now awesome see you 